everyone! Welcome back to Crash Course Essay Writing. Today we're talking about section introductions, the secret sauce to a delicious essay. Think of your essay like a yummy pizza. Each section is a slice and the intro is the first bite. That first bite needs to be tasty to make you want to eat the whole thing, right? Section introductions are important because they tell the reader what's coming next. They're like road signs that keep your essay organized and easy to follow. Without them, your reader will get lost and confused and nobody wants a confused reader. So how do we write section intros that hook our readers? That's what we're going to talk about in the next section. Get ready to learn the recipe for a killer intro. Section two, building a killer intro. All right, let's talk about crafting those awesome section introductions. This is where you set the tone and direction for the rest of your content. A well-crafted intro can make a huge difference in how your audience perceives the information that follows. Remember, your intro is like a mini thesis statement for each section. It's your chance to grab the reader's attention and give them a preview of what's to come. Think of it as a roadmap that guides your reader through your content. It should tell your reader what that specific section is about and how it connects to your main argument. This connection is crucial because it helps your reader understand the relevance of each section in the broader context of your work. A great way to start is by using transition words or phrases. These words help to create a smooth flow from one idea to the next, making your content easier to follow. These words act like bridges between your ideas. They help to connect different parts of your content, ensuring that your reader can follow your argument without getting lost. For example, you can use words like first, which signals the beginning of a new idea or section. Next, which indicates a continuation or addition to the previous point, or however, which introduces a contrast or exception to what has been said before. These words help to show the relationship between your sections, making your content more cohesive. Another tip is to keep your intros short and sweet. You want to provide enough information to pique your reader's interest, but not so much that they feel overwhelmed. You don't need to write a whole paragraph here. In fact, a concise and focused introduction is often more effective. Just a sentence or two is enough to grab your reader's attention and set the stage for what's to come. Think of it as a teaser that entices your reader to keep going. But how do you keep your readers hooked? This is where the art of engagement comes into play. You need to make your content interesting and relevant to your audience. That's where the magic of questions comes in. Asking questions in your intro can be a powerful way to engage your reader. It makes them think and encourages them to read on to find the answers. Let's talk about that in the next section. We'll dive deeper into how to use questions effectively to keep your readers engaged and interested in your content. Section three, the power of questions. Questions are like magic tricks for your essay. They create curiosity and make your reader want to find out the answer. By asking a question at the end of each section, you're inviting your reader to keep reading and engage with your ideas on a deeper level. Think of it like a conversation. When someone asks you a question, you naturally want to answer it, right? It's the same with essays. By asking a question, you're creating a dialogue with your reader and making them an active participant in your writing. But not all questions are created equal. In the next section, we'll explore some examples of good questions that will really get your readers thinking. Section four, asking the right questions. So what makes a good question for a section intro? This is a crucial aspect of writing that often gets overlooked. A well-crafted question can set the tone for the entire section and guide your reader's thinking. Well, first of all, it should be relevant to the topic of your essay. Relevance ensures that your question is not just a filler, but a meaningful part of your narrative. Don't ask a random question just for the sake of it. Random questions can confuse your reader and disrupt the flow of your essay. The question should flow naturally from the information you've presented in that section. It should feel like a logical next step in the conversation you're having with your reader. Secondly, try to ask open-ended questions that encourage your reader to think critically. Open-ended questions are powerful tools for engaging your audience. Avoid yes-no questions or questions with obvious answers. These types of questions can limit the depth of your reader's engagement and thought process. Instead, ask questions that spark debate or require your reader to consider different perspectives. This not only makes your essay more interesting, but also more educational. For example, instead of asking, is climate change real? You could ask, what are the most effective ways to combat climate change? 
This type of question invites a deeper exploration of the topic. This second question is more engaging because it requires your reader to think about solutions and weigh different options. It opens the door to a variety of answers and perspectives. Now that you know how to ask great questions, let's talk about where to put the answers. The placement of answers is just as important as the questions themselves. Answers should be strategically placed to build on the information presented and to guide the reader through your argument. Consider placing answers immediately after the question to maintain the flow of thought. Alternatively, you can spread them throughout the section to keep the reader engaged and thinking critically. Remember, the goal is to create a dialogue with your reader. Your questions and answers should work together to build a cohesive and compelling narrative. By asking the right questions and placing the answers thoughtfully, you can make your essay not only informative but also engaging and thought-provoking. This approach will help you connect with your reader on a deeper level and make your writing more impactful. So, as you move forward with your writing, keep these tips in mind. Asking the right questions is an art, and with practice you can master it to enhance your essays and captivate your readers. Section 5 Answering Like a Pro You've asked a killer question at the end of your section and your reader is hooked. Now, you need to deliver the goods and provide a satisfying answer. But where should you put it? The answer is simple, right before the next section. Think of it like a cliffhanger in a TV show. You leave your audience wanting more at the end of an episode, and then you resolve the cliffhanger at the beginning of the next one. By placing the answer before the next section, you're creating a smooth transition and keeping your reader engaged. They'll be eager to see how the answer connects to the next point you're going to make. But wait, there's more. Let's talk about how to take reader engagement to the next level with calls to action and surveys. Section 6, Getting Readers Involved Congratulations, you've written an amazing essay with killer section intros and thought-provoking questions. But don't stop there. The journey of engaging your readers has just begun. It's not just about presenting information. It's about creating an experience that resonates with them long after they've finished reading. You can take your essay to the next level by encouraging your readers to interact with your work even further. Think of your essay as a conversation starter. How can you keep that conversation going? How can you make your readers feel like they are part of something bigger? One way to do this is by including a call to action at the end of your essay. This isn't just a marketing trick, it's a powerful tool to deepen engagement. A call to action can be as simple as asking your readers to think about a question or as complex as encouraging them to start a project. A call to action is simply a statement that encourages your reader to take a specific action, whether it's reflecting on what they've read, discussing it with others, or applying the insights to their own lives, such as doing further research on the topic, diving deeper into the subject matter, and exploring different perspectives, sharing their own thoughts in the comments, engaging in a dialogue with other readers, and contributing to a broader discussion, or even taking action in their own lives. This could mean making a change based on what they've learned, starting a new habit, or even getting involved in a community initiative. Another great way to engage your readers is by including a short survey at the end of your essay. Surveys are a fantastic way to gather feedback and understand your readers' perspectives. This could be a simple poll with multiple choice questions, allowing readers to quickly share their opinions and insights, or even a few open-ended questions that encourage your readers to reflect on what they've learned. Open-ended questions can spark deeper thinking and more meaningful responses. By actively engaging your readers, you're not just delivering information, you're creating a dialogue and fostering a sense of community around your work. This sense of community can lead to ongoing discussions, new ideas, and a more engaged and loyal readership. So, don't just write an essay, create an experience that invites your readers to be a part of the journey. Section 7, wrapping it up. And that's a wrap on section introductions. Remember, a good section intro is like a roadmap for your essay, guiding your reader through your ideas and keeping them engaged from beginning to end. By using transition words, asking thought-provoking questions, and providing clear and concise answers, you can write section introductions that will make your essays stand out from the crowd. So go forth and write amazing essays. And don't forget to practice those section introductions. The more you write, the better you'll get. Happy writing.